Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we have an abs and booty workout. So I'm going to be using some ball bangles around my ankles. So they are ankle weights. If you have some, pop some on. If not, you can do this entire workout as a body weight workout, no problem. So let's get ready to go. All you need is yourself, a mat, and weights if you want. All right, we're gonna start from lying down on our back. We're gonna take some glute activation exercises. So from here, just start with your feet underneath your sit bones and then inch your feet out so your heels are on your mat but your toes are off the floor. So you're in this wide base position. We're gonna start by lifting those hips up and then tapping them down. Lifting your hips up and tapping down. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. So this is just going to activate your glutes and also getting, the, getting them to fire from a slightly different position than they're used to. Good, really squeeze those glutes at the top. You have four more. Three, two, and hold your hips up here. You're gonna drop them down an inch, up an inch. Down an inch, up an inch. Make it teeny tiny. Good job, you have four, three, two, one. Hold your hips up, lift them a half inch higher. Hold it here now, press your knees out and squeeze. Press out and squeeze, you got it. You have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one, hold those hips up, lift them higher, place them down, bring the soles of your feet together. And now we're just going to lift those knees so they're in line with your shoulders. We don't want to use all the turnout, but keep squeezing the soles of your feet together so you can press the outsides of your feet to lift your hips up and down. So we're going again, lift and lower, lift and lower. So those ankle weights haven't even come in use yet. Don't worry, they will. Good. Keep squeezing, keep pressing the outsides of your feet into the floor as you lift those hips and try to keep those hips lifting at the same level. Watch that we're not twisting on the way out or doing any sort of wiggles. Good, two more. Hold it here. Can you drop your hips down an inch, lift up an inch, down an inch, up an inch. Keep it going. You have four. Three, two, now hold it here and swing your hips side to side. Now you can swing. Now you squeeze one glute, then the other. Keep those hips lifted, keep drawing those abs in and up. Good job, you have four, and a three, and a two, and a one. Lift those hips up higher, lift, 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 hold, and place your hips down. Bring your feet back underneath your sit bones. Feet are in parallel. You're going to pick your hips up. They will stay up. Now, I want you to lift your right leg up to tabletop and then reach that toe up to the ceiling. See if you can flex and lower the foot. Point and lift it. Flex and lower. Point to lift it. Flex and lower. Point to lift. Flex and lower. Now you can either stay here or lift that heel off the floor. You're going to flex and lower. Point lift, thread the needle, and lift. Flex lower, point lift, thread the needle, and lift. Two more, flex, point lift, thread your needle, lift, last one, flex, lift, thread your needle, reach that leg up, bend it in, lower it down, heels down. Now from here we change legs. If you need to pop your hips down for a moment, please do, then bring it back in. This time we press the right foot to the floor, lift your left off the tabletop and up to the ceiling. Flex to lower it, point to lift. Flex to lower, point to lift. Now you can either stay here, flex and lower, or lift that bottom heel, flex to lower, point to lift. Bend, thread the needle, lift back up, flex, lower. Point to lift, thread the needle, and lift. 
flex, lower, point lift, thread your needle, lift last one, flex, point lift, thread the needle, and lift. Good job you guys, bring those feet back down, heels down, and place your hips down, hug it in, all right. We'll just leave those glutes there for a moment. And we are going to now reset legs in tabletop. So one leg lifts, then the other leg lifts. Inhale, exhale, curl your head, neck, and shoulders off the floor. So your hands are reaching towards your ankles. And what we're going to do is reach your hands overhead, stretching those legs long, keeping your lower back pressing into the floor. Sweep the arms around in a circle and bring those hands back to your ankles. They reach out and we circle it around. We reach it out, hold, and we circle it around. Double leg stretch, reaching out, hold, circling it around, reach out, hold, circling it around. If you need to, head can go down, and just do the arms and legs. Really challenging on the core. Really holding it for a few extra seconds on that long hug, we'll hold before we sweep it around and hug it back in. And now let's go a little quicker. Reach it out, circle in. Reach out, circle in. Out and in. Out and in. You have four and three. Give me two more. Last one, hug it in, head down. Reach those legs up to the ceiling. Now from here, we're gonna lower our legs on a long diagonal line, and then put them back up to the ceiling. On a long diagonal line, and back up to the ceiling. Keep your lower back pressing into the mat. Watch so it doesn't arch when we release it. Keep your bottom ribs reaching towards your hips. So if it doesn't go as low as you expect it to, that's okay. Just think about reaching those toes longer. Four more. And three. And two. And last one. Bring it in and walk your hands up the back of your leg. You're gonna drop one leg down. Give me two pulses and switch those legs. One and two, switch those legs. One, two, switch. One, two, switch. One, two. Switch, one, two, switch. Good, keep those scissors going. If you need to pop the head down, you can. You have four, and three, two, and one. Now catch your right leg, everyone hold your right leg. Now we're gonna draw these legs up together and down together so you can hold on to it. So we lock the legs and they lift and lower together. If you feel good, let go of your legs. It's really challenging. Now hold it here. Grab that top leg again. And we sweep it in and up for your bicycle. In and up. Sweep it in and up. In and up. You can always lower your head down but keep those legs moving. In and up, in and up. Keep going. Make it slow, make it controlled, make it juicy. You almost feel like you're in slow motion. Last two, last one, and then bring that left leg up to the ceiling, hold. Hold it here, lock those legs. We go up together, down together for that stack scissor. You can either stay here or let go of those legs, keep them going. Good, then hug those knees in, lower your head down. Well done. <laughs> that one is more challenging than it looks. All right, so from here, we are going to hug your knees in, reach your chin to your chest, and we're going to rock and roll ourselves forward and back a few times. 
and then come all the way up to your sit bones. So we're going to take rolling like a ball. So you're going to find your balance on your sit bones. Drop that chin to the chest, roll back to your shoulder blades, and come up to your sit bones. Roll back to your shoulder blades, exhale up to the sit bones. Inhale back, exhale up. Inhale back, exhale up. Now if you feel good, you are going to roll back and go into a shoulder stand with a stack scissor. So you roll back, stack scissor, bring it in, and come up. Roll back, stack scissor, come in, roll up. Good, just two more here. Bring it in and up. Well done, place those feet down. Now we're going to come into a kneeling position here. And you're going to reach one leg out to the side. So if you just mirror me, hands will come behind the head. And we're going to take it into a side bend, reaching up and over and lift. Reach up and over and lift. Up and over and lift. Up and over, working into that waistline, into those obliques. Four, three, and two, and one. We're going to add a twist. Take it up and over, twist your chest to the floor, bring it back to center, and we lift. Take it up and over, twist, center, lift, up and over, twist, center and lift, up and over, twist, center and lift. All the way up. And now we're just going to bring this hand down, holding it here to lift this long leg and down, up and down. Good, keep it going. You have eight more here. Hold it up here, little pulses, up and squeeze, up and squeeze. Lift, lift, working into your waistline, working into glute made. Now we're gonna take a little rainbow, tapping forward and back. Up forward, up back. You have four and three. And two, and one, reach that leg longer, and lower it down, plant the foot. Now, we're going to rotate your top elbow to your bottom, and lift back up. So we rotate, and we lift. We rotate, and lift, and if you want more, pull your elbow to bottom knee, and lift. Let's go, twist, center. Twist and center. And last one. Lovely. Push all the way up and take a mermaid stretch up and over. And before we do the other side, you're just going to bring that leg in and come down to the floor. So before we do the other side, we just do a similar version here with your hand down. So just make sure you bend your legs, they're stacked and that your feet are underneath your sit bones. Now we're just going to lift your hips up and down. And if you have any pain in the wrist, come down to your forearm. Good, 
Now hold your hips up, lift that top knee, open, close it, open, close it. Nice clam here. You're gonna keep this going, or it's gonna rotate knee to knee, toe to toe, knee to knee, toe to toe. It doesn't matter if you're on your forearm or if you're still on your hand. You have four more, and three, and two, and last one, lift that knee up, hold, 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 and release, lower it down. Separate those legs and take a nice mermaid stretch up and over. Good, release it. Bring your hands on either side of your front leg and we're just going to lift this back knee up and down. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Working into these glutes here. Squeeze, lift and lower, squeeze, lift and lower. Now we're gonna bring our weight forward a little bit more so we can lift the whole leg now. Up and down, up and down. There you got four, three, two, then hold the leg up and pulls it back for eight, seven, six, find those glutes, squeeze them, four, three, two, and one, to release and come up. All right, from here, come back up to your knees, mirror me, and take the other leg out to the side, hands come behind the head. We're gonna take it up and over, and we lift. Take it up and over, and we lift. Folding over this bottom rib here, go up and over that bottom rib. Good, now we're going to add a rotation, so take it up and over, rotate chest to floor. Bring it back to center, and lift. Take it up and over, chest to floor. Center, and lift. Good, two more. And last one. And come all the way up. Now let's bring your hand down to the floor and we're just going to lift this elongated leg to go up and down. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Keep the knee facing forward. Keep this leg up here, now pulse it up and squeeze, up and squeeze. Tiny little pulses, don't let it drop. Keep reach that leg longer for four, three, then we're going to paint a rainbow, tap it up forward and back. Up, tap forward, up, tap back. Good, then bring it back through center, place that foot down, top elbow will twist down to the bottom elbow, bring it back through center. We twist, bring it back through center, keep it going. And if you want to add more, twist bottom knee to your elbow, let's go. For four, for three, and two, and last one. Bring it in, press up, take a mermaid stretch up and over, and release. All right, bring that knee in, and let's just bring it down to our side here. Bending your knees, stacking your legs one on top of the other. Your hand will just be out to your side. Just make sure your heels are underneath your sit bones. And we're gonna pick our hips to lift up and down, cinching into your waistline, lift, and lower. Remember, you can always come down onto your forearm if you prefer it. 
You have four more. And three. Really lift. Two. Hold it up. Here we're lifting this top knee. Open. Close it. Open. Close it. Now we're just going to add a big rotation. So we go knee to knee, toe to toe. Knee to knee, toe to toe. You have four, three, two. Last one, knee up. Lower it down, hips down. Good, separate your legs. Take a little bit of stretch up and over. And bring those hands on either side of your front leg. So we're just gonna lift this back knee. It's gonna go up and down, up and down. Working to those tiny little muscles around your glutes and hips. You have four, three, Two. Now we're going to lean forward just a tiny bit more so we can lift that whole leg up and down, up and down. Get ready to hold this leg up here and pulse it back and squeeze. Pulse back and squeeze. Squeeze, wrap it back. Lower it down. Good job, you guys. Swing those legs around and come into four point kneeling here. So just make sure your hands are under your shoulders, knees are under hips. We're gonna stretch the left leg back behind you. We're going to lift it up and down. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Keep it going here. Hold it up, get little circles. Up and around, up and around, up and around, up and around. Four, three, two, two. Reverse the circle, other way, back and around, back and around. Four, three, two, and one. Come down to your forearms, then flex your foot, hamstring curl, it comes in and out, in and out, in and out, squeeze, release, for four, three, two, hold that heel up to the ceiling, drop the knee down and lift it, drop down and lift it, down, lift higher, get that foot pin on the ceiling. Hold it up here and turn that knee out and in, out and in. Open the knee, close the knee, open the knee, close the knee. Bring it back to center, lower that leg down and push up to your hands again. Let's change to the right leg. It stretches back and we lift it up and down. Lift and lower. Abs draw in and up. Good, keep it going. Hold this leg up here, little circles, up and around, up and around, up and around, up and around. Reverse your circle, other way, back and around. Good, now come down onto your forearms. Holding it here, flex the foot, curl it in and out. Curl it in and out. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Don't let that thigh drop. Pull that heel up, drop that knee, down, 
Take that heel up, lower, and lift it. Lower, lift higher, lower, stomp it up. Keep it going here. Hold this last one up and we rotate that knee out to the side and in. Open it, close it, don't let it drop. You have four, three, two, one, bring it in, lower it down. Roll yourself all the way back up and we flip around onto your back one more time. Roll all the way down. Now lift one leg up to tabletop and then the other. Curl your head, neck, and shoulders off the floor. Pulse forward. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two hands come behind the head, twisted eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, pulse it forward, four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and we twist it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, pulse forward, fours for four, three, two, one, twist for four. Three, two, fours again. Pulse four, three, two, twist it for four. Three, two, pulse it forward. Twos, one and two, twist one and two. Pulse one and two, twist one and two. Pulse one and two, twist one and two. Pulse one, two, twist one and two. Bring it in. Head comes down. All right, you're almost there. We're gonna press those thighs away and curl your, your hips just off the floor. Little reverse curl here. Press away and lift those hips. Press away and lift your hips. I'm gonna lower those hips down with the same amount of control and energy as we do to lift those hips so we don't just let those hips plunk back to the floor. Now you can either stay here or stretch those legs up on a long diagonal line. You can lower those legs and lift. Take a little reverse curl. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. And if you feel good, lower and lift. Take it into a full rollover and then slowly lower it down. Full rollover, rolling onto your shoulder blades, tapping those feet overhead and slowly rolling it down. And if you feel good, you can take it into your jackknife, tapping those toes overhead, reaching those toes up to the ceiling, bringing them back down, and then rolling yourself back down. So this is our advanced option. Only take it if you feel confident and you feel in control. Slowly roll it back down and hug your knees in. Well done. Now to finish, reach your hands and feet up to the ceiling. Curl your head, neck, and shoulders off the floor. Lower your arms and legs in a long diagonal line to your hollow hold. Hold it here, and if you feel good, take the tiny little flutters of your legs. Flutter, 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 flutter. Keeping that lower back pressing into the floor. You got it, keep going. Lower those legs a little closer to the floor for four, for three, two, and one, hold, and hug it in. Well done. Fantastic work, you guys. That is it. I hope you enjoyed 
this abs and booty routine. If you had some ankle weights on or your bala bangles, let me know how you got on in the comments below. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification button so you never miss my weekly workouts every single Monday. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and for full length exclusive workouts, you can find me on Patreon. So thanks for watching guys and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye.